my god, my skin feels so soft. It feels like porcelain. <laughs> the packaging is real. Oh. <laughs> ASMR. Hey cuties, let's do an unboxing of a moisturizer that I was sent by Vitavel Cosmetics. Vitavel Cosmetics actually DM'd me on Instagram and asked if I could do a review, so they sent it to me. This is the Vitavel Cosmetics Hyaluronic Cream with Shea Butter. I can like show the at to their Instagram and their TikTok and maybe their website. Like I'll do my best to show that in the video. Oh, this is also a German brand, paraben free. The first ingredient is water. That was like the first thing that I looked at. They are also cruelty free. I try my best to shop for cruelty free when I'm shopping for like skincare or beauty products. So that was another plus for me. We're gonna read it. Hyaluronic acid anti-wrinkle cream with shea butter has been specifically formulated to deliver powerful active ingredients to support your skin's soft texture, natural elastic elasticity, and divine youthfulness that beg to be touched. Hyaluronic acid is naturally found in your skin where it binds with water to add plumpness. It's an ultra lightweight oil-free cream that instantly cools and refreshes skin. Suitable for all skin types. I have tweezers to open this. Follow us on Instagram, super cute. Made with love, that is so cute. This is cute. Let's see how many ounces it is. It has 1.69 fluid ounces. This one, my old one has 1.7 fluid ounces. So this is about the same. This I think was like 20 bucks, but they sent it to me. So I didn't have to pay for it. I don't know what this is. Is this glass? ASMR. <laughs> I don't know if this is glass, but the packaging is real. Oh. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh. Oh, I think this is just like a lid. This isn't, okay, I thought I broke it. <laughs> I thought I broke that, but no, this is like a like a cover. That's actually cute. This is this part and it's like a little lid. That's adorable. It like somewhat prevents it from being squeezed. That's really nice. I like that. I've never seen a bottle that does that. The packaging is really nice. It's really pretty. It's like a matte black. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm kind of nervous because like I said, I have acne prone skin and I'm really scared that this might break me out. I don't think it will, but it could. So we're gonna see. Let's see. Oh, let's smell it first. Mmm, that smells good. This smells like essential oils. It says it has shea butter, but I don't... Maybe I'm not that familiar with shea butter. Shea butter? I don't know. So my hands are clean and my face is already clean. So I'm just going to pump it up. Let's see. Let's see what we got. <laughs> that thing's coming out okay let me just let me be patient let me wait oh no oh it's coming it's coming Ooh, <laughs> this is nice this might be enough for me i think so because i don't want to add too much moisturizer oh this is creamy <laughs> This is creamy. It smells good though. It smells really good. It kind of smells like perfume. I don't know how good that is for my skin. So we're going to see. So far, I'm not sure if I'm liking it because it seems kind of greasy, but I don't know. Oh my God, my skin feels so soft. It feels like porcelain. <laughs> At first it felt really greasy, but now that it's kind of set in it feels nice like it feels really soft i like that but naturally i have really oily skin at the end of the day like this my nose and like around my nose is going to be the most oiliest compared to like my t-zone or my cheeks like my cheeks are gonna be oily but my nose is gonna be super oily we're gonna see how the moisturizer holds my skin up with makeup so far it smells really good and it makes my skin feel so soft like even with my other moisturizer it didn't feel this soft i'm done for now it's a really nice day it's like the first nice day in a really long time <laughs> or in a while so i'm getting ready to like do my makeup and take some pictures for instagram i think i'm just gonna do something light today i'm showing y'all like the before and i'll show y'all the after when i'm done with my makeup and then i'll show y'all like 
a few hours after the end of the day type thing okay so i finished my makeup my skin looks pretty good to me i'm gonna go take those pictures now and i'll let y'all know how my skin looks at the very end of the night okay so it has approximately been about four hours since i finished applying my makeup i have not done any touch-ups or anything i kind of just wanted to see how it went and honestly i think this would be a good moisturizer to sleep in i don't know if i prefer to have it under my makeup i'm gonna insert pictures of what my makeup looked right after i finished applying makeup and then like recently like you know just a few minutes ago i really really loved the way the moisturizer sat on my skin and how i was able to do my makeup like it looked really really good i feel like it doesn't look as like like polished as it did earlier it just looks oily and it looks kind of separated with my makeup i don't know how else to describe it I don't know if I would wear this moisturizer underneath my makeup again. So that means I have to get a new moisturizer. I think this would be a good moisturizer to sleep in. So I am going to do that. Okay, so I just finished washing my face and doing my skincare routine. I just put on my toner and I'm about to put the moisturizer on. I'm scared because I got some new breakouts on my chin. And I feel like it might have something to do with this moisturizer, but I don't know. So we're going to sleep in it. We're going to see how this goes. It still smells really good. <laughs> I just did about two pumps because I don't think I need it that much. I'm done. We're going to go to sleep in this and I'll probably record myself in the morning to see how my skin feels. Goodbye for now, good night. I will be back in the morning. We're back, it's the next day. I actually just got out of the shower. I didn't have time to take like a video because I always wake up really late and I was in a rush this morning. I woke up, I didn't have any new breakouts, so that's good. I did notice that I got I feel like progressively oilier throughout the day. My skin did feel good when I woke up this morning. It didn't feel as refreshed as my other moisturizer made my skin feel, but it did feel moisturized. Like my skin felt soft this morning, so that's good. I think my skin might just be purging, obviously. The zits that showed up last night, they're, I'm not gonna say they're gone, but they're not like big or anything. I do have the moisturizer on right now. I'm thinking about doing my makeup before I go to my other job. I don't know yet. Cause I feel like my skin is going to progressively get oilier. I can try this trick that I learned a long time ago that after you put your moisturizer on, especially if it's one that is kind of sleek or like, you know, greasy, I guess, you'll put like toilet paper or a napkin or just like some thin paper or anything to kind of absorb it and then you do your routine so we'll try that out this time i'm gonna be at work for about four hours so we'll see how it lasts i'm not that confident in it <laughs> so like i said this might just be a good moisturizer to sleep in maybe not wear underneath your makeup i think it's just a little too maybe thick for my skin it probably would be a good product for girls that have dry skin but definitely not me <laughs> next time you see me it'll be after work okay so i'm back from work i've worked about a four hour shift and i think i know what the verdict is the verdict is is that this moisturizer is not for me <laughs> it was really nice of them to send me a product but this is just not something that works for my skin. I just genuinely feel like my skin looks oilier. And when I look in the mirror, I feel like it just looks different than what my face usually looks like after a day of wearing makeup. At first, it makes my makeup look really, really good. But just after a few hours, it does not last very long on my skin. Like I said, I would definitely recommend this product if you have dry skin, but I do not have dry skin. So I just don't think it works very well for me. It smells really good. I like the consistency. The bottle is adorable. It, I looked up on the website, it is a glass bottle. I like the pump. There's not really much else I can say. Um, it's I've been wearing it for about two days now. I don't think I see any new breakouts, which is good. Cause like I said, I have acne prone skin and I was afraid I would start breaking out like all over my face, but so far it doesn't seem like it. 
I'm just really, really oily now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching my review. Goodbye. Okay,